Hello and welcome to another video where we'll be covering Pico CSS in detail. Today, our topic of discussion is containers. So this comes up under layout and by default, whenever we specify the class container, the default alignment of elements is centered. So here you can see we have the main container in the code as class container. So this basically keeps everything as center aligned. Now if I go ahead and I want to make this a hundred percent layout, in that case all I need to do is just write container dash fluid. So everything that you see inside the main container over here will be taking the full width of the screen. So here you can see that now when the page reloads everything is taking the full width of the screen. The good thing about Pico is that it makes use of the same breakpoints and viewport sizes as Bootstrap. So if you're coming from Bootstrap side, you'll be comfortable working with Pico as well. Header tag, main tag and footer, which are the direct children of the body tag, provide a responsive vertical padding. Whereas if we have section, then it provides a responsive margin bottom to separate your sections. And here you can see the same. We have two sections. If I click on this section, you can see that it is providing a margin bottom over here to separate the section from each other. And the next one we'll be covering grid layout using Pico CSS.